Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are about to kick off episode 3, a brand new episode which is called Muzzled. Um, and that doesn't fill me with confidence because that makes me think something's going to happen to Gromit. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. There's only one way to find out though, so let's jump in with a new game. Uh, we're just going to start the game again, we're not going to do a tutorial because we know what we're doing anyway. Let's see what happens. Ice creams, okay. Is that what we're doing this time out? Ice creams? Looks like it. Storm destroyers dog shelter. Rogue pups roam streets. That should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Patent pending, of course. <laughs> it's infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. Sounds good. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? Oh, I'm not sure about Wensleydale flavored ice cream. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Look at it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. Nice. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Flit says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. Of Looks course, a bit. pups have been homeless for too long. Imagine if you had no place to call home sweet kennel from it. Home sweet kennel. Hmm. What was that? It must be the breeze. Miss Flit says the strays have been making mischief all over town. Oh On dear. Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. No <laughs> gang doubt of terriers. They'll come to heal once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Oh, I wouldn't have thought so. Whoa. Wild dogs, stray scoundrels. Mangy good for nothing mongrels <laughs> mangling me machine. They must be some of the escapees. Oh, he's changed his tune, hasn't he? Oh no! McCrank! Oh dear. Lever. They're nicking all the bits. The flavour engraver. The brains of our custom flavour scanner lab. It's been scrambled. The four-legged beans. I'm sorry, lad, but this is some serious damage. Is Gromit I the only good dog? suppose it's nothing dog? that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavour engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad. You're a dog. You can reason with them. What makes you think that? All that hard work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, let's take a look around then. So we've got, you know, it's all gone wrong again. What's this? Some sort of dog toy? Little bunny. We'll take that. Uh, we can go upstairs, but I don't want to do that just yet. What have we got here? Uh, some blueprints. With a combination of infrared scanning and molecular chemistry, the flavour engraver can imbue our ice cream with any flavour imaginable. Lovely. Let's look at this blueprint. It's really an ingenious idea. A custom flavour technology that makes sure there's an ice cream for everyone. You That's just a good make idea. a sample of anything you fancy, insert it into the flavour scanner, and press the churn button. Alright, well, I mean, I can see the appeal in this particular invention. Some of the other ones have been a bit odd, but yeah, I can see where he's coming from. Uh, what's that this? sign would be a nice finishing touch if we could get the machine back up and running. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Some Not paint. quite done painting the sign yet, Gromit. That's a nice shade of blue, though, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's lovely. It's the nicest shade of blue I've ever seen. Right, so there they are at the news agents causing problems. Uh, any tools we can take? No. Right, can we engage with this one? 
Gromit, this machine might not be completely cream cracked after all. Let's have a shifty. It's not gonna work without the bit. Oh. Okay. Afraid it's still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> Literally just passed out. <laughs> Not really sure. I mean, is he okay? He doesn't look in a good way, does he? <laughs> oh, no, he's back. That's fine. Okay, that was very strange. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, right, what's the deal with this one, then? Can you stop biting the wheels, please? Oh, he's scared. We're going to have to calm that one down if we're ever going to roll this machine out of here. Yeah, maybe he wants the toy. Maybe we can do that. It doesn't seem like there's actually any good dogs in Wallace and Gromit other than Gromit. Like, all the other dogs you come across in this game and in the... Like, in a close shave, there was the dog which was, like, evil as well. Like, they're always bad. did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh my, you used to being so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Yeah, now well. we can focus on getting this machine up and running. Hopefully, yeah. Um, we can inspect it. Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. All right. I mean, I've got the crank now, so we should just be able to put it back on, hopefully. Is he pretending to have been shot or something? Is that, what, is that what's going on there? I'm a little bit confused why he keeps falling over. And he's back. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Hopefully he's not going to steal it again. Oh, no, he is. Right, okay. He swiped it again. What is all that? What's he got there, lad? I think he's helped himself to our valuables. Right, so he likes to see... He seems to like gold things. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back. Uh, okay, can we do the shooting thing again? <laughs> I assume it's shooting. I don't know what he's doing, but when he falls over, maybe we can take it. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. Because either way, he's not supposed to have it, right? Right, yeah, okay, good. We'll take that then. Thank you. It's mine now. What are you going to do about Any it? Luck with the mischief makers? Yeah, I mean, can do you want to take it then? Oh, smashing, lad. Oh, crank. Oh, no, I I didn't want to put it on. I wanted to just show it to Wallace. Good heavens, he's quick. He really does love that crank, doesn't he? He's got Gromit? more stuff. What's going on? Where's he finding all this stuff from? Careful, Gromit. The Infini flavor motor is volatile without its crank. I wonder if we can take any of the other stuff. It definitely seems to just pick up gold things, so I don't know if maybe we've got to change the... Ah, oh, can we paint it blue? Is that the clue? I was going to say change the colour. Maybe we can make it blue? Oh, we can! Nice! It just suddenly popped into my head right there. What if it was a different colour and I remember looking at the paint? Right, hopefully now he won't take it then. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Because it's not gold. Alright then. 
result. I think we're just missing one more piece now, aren't we? The other bit that got swiped. We didn't even get to try our first batch. Oh dear. Yeah, it's a real shame. Um, can we head upstairs? Yeah, it looks like we can. So let's head up there and see if there's anything else. Because I'm sure another dog took another piece of it. Like the lever or the lever. Any uh, answer phone messages for us? Who can we call? What number, please? What number, please? Any messages? Mr. Wallace? Miss Sit from next door here. For the last 45 minutes, I've been trying to read the same page in my book. Now only to be interrupted by the incessant clatter that seems to be emanating from your cellar. <laughs> I quite understand that an inventor is entitled to do his inventing in the privacy of his own home. Yep. But the banging, popping, creaking and odd explosions really <laughs> must stop. I love the way they're going on in the background. But what's that livestock? Honestly, Wallace, this has always been a respectable street. It still is. Right, are there any more? <clears throat> PC Dibbins here at the police station. We've recently received reports from a Miss Felicity Flick. Oh, no. <laughs> of a possible breach of the peace. In the environs of number six. No, she's making it up. I need hardly remind you, Mr. Wallace, yet again, that the enclosure of any farm animal or beast of burden beast of burden. the boundaries is strictly prohibited. That includes but is not restricted to, and I quote, chicken, sheep, goats, pigs, horses, miniature horses, alpacas, and most importantly, miniature horses. Cows. Any more blinking complaints from the townspeople and you'll be nicked. Good day. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can't be arrested for having a cow in your cellar. Anything else? Mr. Wallace? Miss Fit from next door here. Oh, yeah, it's just the for same. The 45 minutes I've been trying to we read can, the We same can skip it. Right, okay. Yeah, it was livestock. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Empty? Yeah, empty. Can't make any toast this time. Uh, we still stocked up on crackers and stuff in here. Oh, <gasps> no crackers! Oh dear. Uh, oven is out of commission until the weekend. Hey, a plummet! Steady on! You can bake all the pies you want later when the gas has been <laughs> ended! Whoops, sorry. Uh, what's this? Recipes? Apple crisp pie, strawberry rhubarb pie, kidney pie, potato pie. Oh. Hey, a <laughs> Steady on. You can bake all the pies you want later when the gas has been mended. Alright, well, we can't do anything with that then. <laughs> so let's leave that. What's in the cupboard? Anything useful? No. Anything in the fridge, maybe? Wow, the fridge is empty as well. Looks like Wallace and Gromit need to do some shopping, I think. Uh, I'm not sure why we turned the blender on, really. Nothing in there. Alright, let's check out the other rooms, then. That dog's got to be somewhere with this lever. Not in there. What's that? That wasn't there before. Oh. It's all blocked up with sugar. So we can't get upstairs then. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Pooch magazine. Pooch quarterly. 50 ways to tame your terrier. Okay. Push him on the head, apparently. Whatever. That might come in handy later on, I suppose. Uh, should we head into the living room? Let's do that first. Isn't it? Oh, there is a cow. <laughs> Oh, there's a cow in the living room. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing, Wallace? Oh my god. Right, okay, we can't go in there either because of some sort of fridges or something. We can go outside, though, which is nice. <gasps> there he is. And there's the lever. Oh, he thinks it's a bone. Terror. 
So he thinks it's a bone. So I guess we need to get a bone to replace it with then. Uh, which, I mean, I guess we can do that. It shouldn't be too big of a problem, should it? Can we, yeah, we can go through here. Anything interesting? Not really. All right, let's see what Miss Flip wants then. Nope, oh, sorry, gnome. Ah, did you let the dogs out? Obviously this not. This mangy whippet is is ravaging my roses. Came hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. It's not a bone; it's a lever. Hmm. Feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now. He's gone underground, and Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. Hopefully ruining them. Where's Wallace when I need him? Busy. Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? <laughs> what? Don't just stand there. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? I mean, not really. No, it doesn't, doesn't work like that, to be honest. Um, what's this? Thank you. Heavens, the rascal didn't tear up my tulips. I don't know how I'd have coped. Oh, yeah, you know. Who knows what would have happened? I know the whole town has been plagued by stray dogs, but you can't start handing out bones, Gromit. If you give a dog a bone, you have to expect he'll dig a hole. And when my garden is prime hole digging real estate, you must think twice. All right, well. That's where the dastardly digger went underground. Look at my petunias, pulverized. Uh, they you know, you can grow them again. Again, I'm sure. Um, all right, can we head into town? <gasps> ah, Major Crumb's back on his bench. Morning, Private. Eddie's Private Eddie. <laughs> I'm sure by now you've received intelligence about the morale raising ops this weekend. Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensa used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. Oh, yeah, I'm I sure. remember being stationed in Algeria, and the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! <laughs> there was Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever popular monkey toss competition. Even a couscous eating contest. What? Which reminds me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. Oh yeah, well, I will be. I, ca I can't wait. Eating contest, private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. Well, you know, we'll see about that. We'll see about that because there might be a. A new Those champion in town. My biscuits, private, and very delicious they are too. Can't share them with you though. For optimal nutritional efficiency, today's soldiers must stick to their rations. So oh yeah, of course. No Bicky wickies for you, I'm afraid. Well, that's not very oh, nice. Tremendous flavour. Hmm. I wonder if there's something we've got to do with that then. Mm. I do say, Private, after a life lived in the trenches, it is a pleasure to sit down and enjoy a few handfuls of such decadent biscuits. Yeah, we're going to need those somehow. For something. Came across a case of these irresistible devils in my cellar and have been eating them ever since. And with a metabolism like mine, I have no intention of stopping either. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, tremendous flavour. Right, so he mentions the flavour in the biscuits a lot, so I'm guessing that's going to be useful for something at some point. Uh, what is this? Hello, Gromit lad. How's Mr. Wallace? Yeah, he's alright. I'm looking at this. Help the hounds this weekend only. Oh, it's the flyer for the thing. Fair. Have you heard about the fundraiser? Yeah. I've never been to a proper town fair before. All right, well, you're going to do that, I guess, in a week. Oh, this should be grand. Hope to be seeing you and Mr. Wallace. Yeah, should be. Should see us there. Unless something goes dreadfully wrong. Uh, what does this say? Old Ian's Cinemas. Okay. What's that to do with the fair? 
There's that thing again. This shop's never open. Eddie's Pies. Again, never open. A lot of these places don't ever seem to be open. <laughs> I think they're there just to add a bit of character to the... to the uh, town or the high street area. Um, let's talk to Mrs. Gabberly then, who oh, looks like she's been... Pet out for walkies. Certainly a grand day for it. It is, yeah. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, did the dogs do this? Buzz with the fundraiser this weekend, didn't it? About time somebody did something to build a new dog shelter. Mm. Ooh, I've had run-ins with all sorts of strays of late. Terriers, spaniels, mutts, even an Irish wolfhound. Really? You should have seen the size of him when he went for me pork scratchings on top shelf. <laughs> Sent me tumbling backwards and brought me awning crashing down. Ooh, I gave him what for, and no mistake. I bet you did. Ah, uh, you mean you opened your gum. <laughs> to fright. Ooh, mind your business and quit interrupting. This is why you haven't got any friends and spend all day talking to the birds. Burn. <laughs> I'm just in need of some intelligent company. Anyway, it's high time town got together to put the shelter back up. Wouldn't you say, Chuck? I reckon so, yeah, and I reckon that's what we're going to have to start doing in the next episode because we are pretty much out of time, so we'll leave it there. Um, we managed to get the dog to stop biting the tyres. We also got the uh, crank off the other dog as well, so it's just the bone replacement I'm guessing we'll need to get rid of the lever that he's got and thinks is a bone, so it makes sense that we'll have to find something to replace that. Uh, so hopefully we'll do that in the next one. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.